Station, Centralia, a small town about an hour north of Lebanon. I'm here to make another Facebook video. By the way, the Pagoda video is sitting at about 2,100 shares. That makes it the second best video that I've made so far. It hasn't beaten Mount Gretna. Not yet, but before I get started with this behind the scenes slash vlog, the other day someone asked me about my super long selfie stick that I use to make these videos. And it's pretty simple. First you need a pole like this and you can get them pretty much anywhere. Hold on, let me show you guys. It's just a bulb changer that I got at Home Depot. Cheap too, 20 bucks. And then once you got your pole, which by the way, extends. Look how long this thing is. And then you need this adapter that fits on the end of the pole. I got this thing on Amazon. It's just a standard painter's pole adapter. You can attach pretty much anything that accepts this, I believe it's a quarter inch thread or three quarter, something like that. It's the same size as a tripod screw. So you can put like a GoPro on it. I attach my Osmo to it. And in order to attach the Osmo, you need a couple of GoPro accessories. I believe it's called a handlebar mount. You need the little GoPro to tripod converter or adapter or whatever you want to call it. And what I did here is I cut off, I cut off the end piece that has this little screw or bolt. It's a bolt so that I can fit it onto the handlebar mount and then screw it in place and that's pretty much it very easy to make a lot cheaper than the stuff that's on the market that I mean they have one that's specifically made for the GoPros that cost like a hundred over a hundred bucks and this is way cheaper all right that's it I just broke the adapter trying to tighten it so I guess I'm not gonna be using this today oh well not a big deal I'm just gonna improvise. I attached it to the attached it to that side like this. It's good enough. By the way, I have Nina here with me. Nina, say hi to the vlog. Hola. A little bit about Centralia. This town at one point was a small mining town. And Back in the, I'm not exactly sure when, but maybe it was the 1960s, a coal fire started and people started leaving because it was just dangerous to live here. At this point, it's basically a ghost town and I believe Silent Hill was based on this town or I don't know, it was the inspiration for Silent Hill. But right now we are on the, what's known as the graffiti highway. Nina and I are gonna head down to the other end where I'm gonna try and get my opening shot, which I've said before is my most important shot. So I got my electric board. I got Nina on her, <laughs> on her longboard. I got a, a leash to tow her if she needs to be towed. <laughs> well, we're gonna go for a little ride. Obviously we're not the only ones here. Come on, Nina. Right here? Yeah, you got, you got huge wheels on there. It's an electric skateboard. Oh! All terrain. No way. Come on, Nina, just go! <laughs> this is getting so bad. Here, why don't you hang on to me and I'll put the brakes on. <laughs> Nina's using me as a brake. Look at this place. From what I understand, there's maybe about 10 people that actually live here. And Centralia itself has become sort of a... What do you do that for? <laughs> Centralia has become sort of a tourist destination. People from all over the world come here to check this place out. I've never actually been here before, but I've seen lots of it on Facebook. Quite a popular destination, especially for people that uh, ride motorcycles or like the spray paint like they're doing back there. Go on, Nina. She's trying to Snapchat. <laughs> I 
Hey guys. All right, so those are the giant cracks that were caused by the pressure from the fire. Basically, this road just is buckling. Check that out. There's my opening shot. I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> Centralia, it looks right. done down here and I'm gonna head back up to the top and get some more drone footage over the town itself but on the way up there we're gonna be using my super long selfie stick and hopefully Nina doesn't crash hopefully <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple flyovers. I'll do this cemetery and yeah, let's see what I can find. Apparently that church up there, people actually still attend services every Sunday there. I think I'm going to do one last shot using the Osmo of this area here which is kind of creepy looking when you drive through it. But there really isn't a whole lot here, it's just a little bit of foundation, overgrown weeds, graffiti and then that one old road and that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm done. I think I'm done here. That's cold.